I'm going to try to simulate the weight of a car. Okay, so it's going to get 220 pounds. The tire. All right, so now, now let's make your cast. All right. Right. What is it? Three parts. Three parts. Three to one and a half. Uh, three to one and a half. Uh, have a couple plastic ready if you need more plastic. Have a couple water ready if you need more water. Yeah. Oh. Pour fast. And now measure out. Measure it out quick. Just half of that. It's not rocket science. Come on, you need to start mixing. Go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go. Pour it in there. Let's go. There you go. Pour it in. Mix it up. All right, mix, 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 mix. And then I'll let you guys pour it in. <laughs> I know this tries fast because unfortunately I have to paint on the side and I'm constantly fixing walls so that is during joint I'll compound, paint with you. Urban, or plastic. Okay, who wants to pour it in? Pour it in like you're making cookies. I was in so here, four, go ahead. Go for it. Go for it. Come on. Go to the dry quick, so go. No, no. Oh, okay. uh, open yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Let it out, let it out, let it out, spread it out. Oh, more, more, getting, more, more. There. there we go. Spread it out, spread oh, it out. That, oh, get, and right. get the thick stuff. You do it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to come off. That was fine. So some groups have different tires. These are, these are from the suspect. Okay, you have, always have three three parts. Your uh, triangle, uh, suspect, victim, crime scene. Right, the prints over there uh, are, are unknown. Uh, these are known. These this this uh, tire print was taken from uh, known origin from one suspect. Okay, we have a shoe print that's also from a suspect. Right, another shoe print from a suspect. Right. As we walk around the room, we're doing a, like a gallery walk here. Right here's another tire impression from, uh, we'll call him Suspect 2. All right, and then this group right here, um, this group here had to replaster their print because it's starting to come apart. So we just replaster it. As you see, it's still wet, but they have to get their hands dirty in order to learn. So, so that's what, what we're doing. Once. Uh, after the soil dries out, we will uh, further brush the particles out un until we can get um, a, a visible print. And then we need to identify, uh, co compare the suspect to the crime scene, and we'll figure out whose tires and foot and shoe prints uh, they belong to. All right, obviously, we've been working on impression analysis. We did fingerprints. We did, um, uh, obviously, we uh, casting. Okay, we made shadow boxes in the process of cut the leg and had six staples put in, right? That's besides the point, right? But we have uh, three tires, okay? Um, one of them is from the crime scene, okay? Uh, so you have to figure out which one of these tires was taken from the crime scene, okay? So when you flip these over, this is the crime scene, okay? And then we have uh, three shoe impressions, okay? And uh, we have, these are the shoes that we have here. All right, um, this is the crime scene. So which one matches the crime scene suspect uh, one, four, five, or six? And which tire, all right, uh, was at the uh, crime scene, right? Suspect one, two, or three, okay? So you have to act like a, a real life forensic scientist today and uh, make points of individualization and rationalize why you think all right, uh, match. Okay, just like anything else. Suspect victim crime scene.